Okay, so uh, I decided I would try and just take the ignition coils off um, to have a look at the well, have a look at the coil pack. Basically, it's, it's not coils; it's, uh, it's not what they call coils anyway. It's a coil pack, so there's four. There'll be four coils in there probably, um, and basically there's one plug on the end and two bolts, and then it all pulls off. Um, but interestingly, and this might be what one of the noises was. The auxiliary belt is kind of in the process of shredding itself, so that's uh, fun. Uh, so that needs replacing, obviously. It's not really uh, very well loved, this car anymore. And there is an oil leak somewhere around here. Mm, I mean, it, I know that it did have a big oil leak from the back of this sensor, but it doesn't appear to be from the back of it anymore. It looks like it's maybe from the rocker cover, or maybe all the front of the rocker cover, to be honest. So, yeah. That's maybe where half of the oil's going. It does use oil. So, it's quite, should be, like I said, easy to take this off. So, what you might do as well, if you've got the pin out for this, um, is, the, in theory, uh, there's pin numbers on here, one, two, three, four, five, six. There, you should be able to test the coil what they call the primary, so there's two coils, there's a primary coil in here and that's the one that the ECU switches on and off and there's a secondary coil which is connected to the spark plug and generates the high voltage spark. So we should be able to, in theory, measure the resistance between um, probably what will be a ground and then each of the coils um, to test the coil pack. Um, it would be a good idea, I guess, to do it while it's hot, um, because that's where the problem is. But you need to know the pinout, which probably someone online has got. Um, or you could maybe guess and work it out by doing various tests. You could continuity test between here and the chassis, although you have to maybe watch out for not back-feeding some voltage somewhere um, that it doesn't want to be. Yeah, but we could we could measure the... If we knew the pinout of this, we could measure the... Um, resistance of the primaries, which would maybe something I should do. Um, yeah, I might try and do that. So now we've got the ignition coil pack out, we can see something quite interesting, which is, well, um, you can kind of well, you want to be just generally looking at the condition of everything, I guess, when you're diagnosing problems. Um, and it's probably fairly obvious in this case what might be happening. Um, but you can't always know whether something's in a good or bad condition if there's only one of them. In this case, we've got four, so it's quite easy to compare them. And you can probably see that uh, this kind of, uh, well, spark plug socket, I suppose it is, as it appears black on the top, right, compared to these other ones, and that's oil. And if you look down the spark plug hole, I mean, it's pretty oily, right, compared to, I suppose, let's see if we can compare these, and that one's more oily, and it's near the oil filler cap, and we're miss missing the cover that goes on here, so it's quite easy for oil to get down there. And there's actually a fair amount of oil floating around. Not a lot, I've seen worse, but most telling, there's a great big blob of oil on top of the spark plug. Compared to this one, which is perfectly dry. Yep, there you go. So, that's not really very good. And I mean, really, at that point, I wouldn't bother going any further. I suppose what we should do, then, is look up what the cylinder numbers are. Because cylinder 1, I can never remember which end it is. Um, I think there's a standard, but then, you know, what standards are for? So, uh, if that was cylinder 1, it won't be cylinder 3. Cylinder 3 will be that one or that one. Um, then that would pretty much confirm 
to me that the problem is that there's oil on the spark plug and there's not actually anything else wrong. Why it only happens when it gets hot? Well, I don't know. Who knows what's going on here. So, the thing to do would be clean up. You can even see that that's gone dry and that's wet looking. So, good original part, Bosch. Um, that's another problem, right? So, cheap ignition coils. Um, don't know, I think. You could put probably a brand new cheap one on. I think the, the problem is still there. Um, therefore, it must be some other component on the engine. Replace everything else and then find out that your new cheap coil actually is no good. So, with ignition coils at least, I think I would pri probably buy at least another Bosch one. I don't know, it's always hard to know. If you want to save yourself a few pounds and you don't mind wasting some time, then maybe get cheap. But I've kind of started to realise that it doesn't seem to actually pay to buy cheap. Um, so, buy cheap, buy twice, they say. And at least with suspension components, that's definitely true. Um, and with exhaust, so like this exhaust. But there we go. So, the thing to do now it would be clean that plug, probably take them out, maybe I'll do that, and just have a look. And we'll see then if this one's misfiring. That'll be interesting. So here you can see that spark plug from cylinder 1. Not that well, because the lighting's not great. Um, but yeah, I mean it's not very healthy, I shouldn't really be holding it like this, but... Uh, it was kind of a bit sticky to get out, which worried me, but I think that's just all the crud in the threads. And then, okay, so in this case, it looks like it's sort of been burning okay, it's a bit difficult to see the colour, that's better, of the tip. Um, it's kind of a whitey, browny colour. That's, it's not like it's been misfiring. If it was all black, then it would be obviously misfiring. The thing is that they, they clear quite quickly so we had a misfire but then we turned the car off turned it back on and drove home so in that time it's probably burnt all the soot off from misfiring if it was this under so we just take the other ones out and compare them basically so you you might not be able to tell if that's good or bad but you can compare it to the rest and see they should all be the same at least okay so there's some kind of interesting things going on here with the spark plugs um very difficult to see here but that for a start, this is whatever cylinder it is on that end, left hand end, and the electrode is kind of squashed out of round. Uh, you can maybe just about tell it's a bit oval there. Um, so all of the plugs are also pretty white on the tip, which I think is okay, but maybe suggests they're maybe running a bit lean. And that's probably got something to do with long-term fuel trim. That one also, yeah, doesn't look round. I mean, it, they will get eroded by the spark. I think that should have been round originally. Um, this one, interestingly, the actual kind of... Um, yeah, you can see it better there. The, the bolt, the nut part of it, the, that you undo is very brown so it looks like it's been very hot in there or it's had oil in there that's burnt off at some point um, this plug which is under number two I think looks pretty horrible the whole yeah there you go so you, you can see the the whole sort of it's covered in all sorts of crud um, and it looks like it's kind of been eaten away a bit. Um, it's pretty nasty, really. So, again, that electrode's not round either. So I suppose that's how they go. And then this is the one that... Um, is uh, was full of oil. So compare the four of them there and you can see they're different um, so
So they were in. Uh, they were in that order. Um, you can see that the the nut part it looks different, and the tips, the electrodes are sort of all different as well. In fact, if anything, number one, that one looks maybe the healthiest, weirdly. I would I might suggest. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it needs new spark plugs, that's for sure. Um, and that could be, I mean, they look bad, really, so that could be part of the problem. Um, I mean, we could, now at this stage, if you suspected a spark plug and you... I mean, really, you should just put new ones in if they look like that. Um, I'm going to have to put these back in, at least until I get new ones. Uh, I think. But, yeah, uh, you could swap them around and see if the problem moves. That would tell you something, tell you if it's the spark plugs or the coil. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess, put them back in where they were and just clean clean this spark plug, I've already cleaned it on the end and clean up the clean up the coil that's all oily because um, and inside there with some brake cleaner, I'm not entirely sure what you should clean spark plugs with, probably not brake cleaner but um, I'm going to do that anyway, so yeah, we'll see how that goes.